Hello again. Today I'm going to go into Steam a little bit more. I thought I'd load up a boat that I've been uh, playing around with a bit. I've called this the SS Blackpool. I know there's no such thing, or if there is, it's certainly, well, certainly not got holes in the front. Anyway, so inside here I have a steam engine that I created earlier. I actually replaced a fuel engine to build this thing. It works. It does its job. Uh, as you can see, everything's rather bright because I've got neon lights. The neon lights do not have any form of light coming off of them. But whatever they touch, they make really light. The lighting in this is shocking, I tell you. Anyway, so I have built a what is it, six, 12 piston system, 12 piston system here. Attached to this engine, we get some decent power. Uh, we get something like 25,000 power all in. Um, I was going to show you how it's all piped through. So. I have pipes through into the pistons from the boiler directly, and then I pipe up, so it goes straight up, straight into a funnel. Now I've added a load of extra black smoke for the effect, but white smoke does come out if it reaches around 500 pressure. It won't for a few minutes. Anyway, coming off this pipe on one of the decks, I actually have a steam turbine generator. This generates me some electric, and as you can see, it's currently generating 170 per second and going up. So quite handy you just stick it on a different deck pipe it through use what room you have don't worry about cramming it all in one place right so this is not what this is going to be about today today I'm going to be trying an experiment so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, load up on my engine test platform uh, that one. Okay, so let's dig it out of the water and build on it. Okay. So today I'm actually going to be creating a concept idea for uh, steam engine locomotives. And hopefully this will inspire someone or something um, to create. So I'm going to be using the edge of this more than anything else, to be fair, um, mostly because of how a steam locomotive is designed. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this fill in. There we go. Right, so steam locomotives require a locomotive part. So I'm going to try and build it in a similar sort of fashion to how you'd expect to see one. Uh, so let's get our steam engine first. Let's get a large steam controller and build it. Oh, I don't know, about there. There we go. And now let's stick a whole huge boiler on the front of it as well. Okay, that's approximately the length you might expect a, a steam engine boiler to go to, so let's go with that. Uh, next, I'm going to stick some piping in. Now I'm going to try and figure out if it's possible to do it out of the side of one of these. Anyone think it is? No. Okay. So this is one downside to this particular design. You can only have a controller on one end and a pipe on the other end. So to create a true steam engine design you're going to end up with bits on it hanging off at this stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it out to one side. I'm going to do it because it's on the edge here. Uh, let's bring it out right out to the edge, like so, and corner pipe it in. Okay, so um, as we've discovered from trial and error, mostly, um, the large gearbox has uh, the ability to create, um, well, pretty much any design you like with these things. So I'm going to stick a piston on this. It's not attached to anything. But that's great, because it means I can stick a crank on it, like so, no, like so. Now, at this stage, steam pressure is zero, steam volume is zero. The reason behind this is because there's no actual gearbox on this thing. So I'm going to stick a gearbox on the side, like so. I'm hoping this will pick up. Oh, I know. Material storage. Donut. Okay. Add the material storage. Let's just stick a couple there, like so. And there we go. We we now have a piston going around. 
So, let's remove this and let's see if I can put it on the other side. I can't. Let's bring it out one then. I said one, not two. Right, okay, corner pipe. Do, 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 corner pipe. Let's get rid of that. Pop, piston, pop, 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 piston. Where's the piston? They're under here, aren't they? So let's get ourselves a four meter piston. Stick it on the end, like so. Uh, that way round. So it looks cool. Okay, now we want to put in our large gearbox on the inside. Like so. And then a single crank, like so. Dad, it's going far too fast. 700 steam power! What are we getting out of the gearbox? Let's have a look. 1600 and going up. Let's drop this down just so we don't break it while we're actually building it. That's better. Right. Okay, so. We know that we can stick bits on. So, I'm going to try and build a uh, wheel, wheel, a steam engine's wheel. Gearbox tip. There we go. So, we now actually have a, st a wheel. Now, this is the wrong side for my particular uh, original design. So, let's build it the other way around. The way I was originally going to build it. Gearbox on the outside. Gearbox on the outside. There we go. Wheel needs turning. There we go. So we now have a wheel going round. Now, if they ever bring in uh, extendable wheels, uh, this will make things a lot easier. I have a funny feeling they won't, but you never know. So let's just see what happens if we stick a generator on the top. Somehow, don't ask me how, that is going round. Yeah, I don't get it either. Right, okay. So. If we can harness two of these together, which I don't think we can, then we can create ourselves something quite awesome. Let's just see what happens when I stick one of these on here. Hang on, one of these first, then one of these. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Okay, so anyway, I'm throwing some ideas in there so you could build a static particular system. You could potentially have hidden one of these behind, like so. I'm just throwing some ideas in there for you, just to see whether or not this will help. Uh, so if I build that there, and then get rid of that, put in a three-way, steam piping three-way, oh crap, there we go, uh, pipe in there, and we want our two meter, and then we want our single, So potentially, you know, there's there's some potential here. You you could potentially make it look better. Um, anyway, so now we've got a particular direction going. Um, you can't make them go backwards. You can actually figure out which way you'd make your vehicle go. So you'd make it look like it's going that direction. Which means you need to turn the pistons to this side if you want the pistons to be running from this side. Which means you could potentially run steam piping underneath all the way around to here. Um, I'm going to change this piece here for a single shaft, like so. There we go. So now that looks a bit more genuine. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more wheels in in this section for space. But that's good enough. So let's say you wanted to turn this into an actually uh, actual moving vehicle. Well, let's get rid of this side here. What could you do? Well, let's go into air, and we can get ourselves a power wheel. Now. It might not seem crazy, but uh, in, in some worlds, they actually place wheels 
behind uh, a fake steam uh, engine. So you can actually have a driving wheel. Stick the driving wheels behind it, basically, instead of running it on real ra wheel, uh, real whales, real rails. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, a concept idea for a steam train. Ah, one more thing. Can't forget this, can we? What does every steam train have? It has a pressure release vent at a height above the vehicle, like so. So let's set this to uh, about 660. Now we can pump this up to about 40%. Um, we have a total pressure of 300, 400, let's increase it a little bit faster. Can you hear that chuffing? I love that sound. And there we go, the steam's coming out the top. So we have a pressure of over 700 and it's increasing. Um, Right, so this particular vehicle has 46,900 power by default. We're currently getting an extra 5,000 out, and I've just killed this. <laughs> Look, rotation speed is too high. Rotation speed is too high. Okay, so. The most annoying sound in the world. Oh, look, it broke. Uh, one sec, let me... Do, 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 do. Relay. Oh look, we could have some fun with this. Right, what are we getting? It's far too overpowered. Right, okay, let's bring it down to uh, a level not likely to blow it up. Uh, that's a little bit better, but it's it's not good enough yet. Right, so. Let's replace this with a four-way, nice like... Oh no, three-way will do, three-way will do. Do, do, do. I'm just throwing some more ideas in your directions. I've got a rather laggy frame rate. Hold on. That should do it. Right, anyway. There we go. Some more steam coming out. Now you can make it look like it's really going. And it went overpower it too much. And we're running it just under 1700. Okay, there we go. Cool. So, we have two pistons on one side running two wheels, which makes it effectively look like it is actually running like a steam train. You can have a hidden wheel behind the rear and you can convert this entire thing into, well, something that actually looks convincing. It looks very much like an actual steam train from this angle, except obviously not. Um, put one together, see what you think. I'm not going to actually finish building this right now. Uh, it's on my engine test after all. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thank you very much.